Hello and welcome to Algebra 1, Chapter 2.2, and today we're going to discuss solving equations by using addition and subtraction. Two properties that we needed to address first. Uh, remember that an equation, the two sides are balanced, so you can think of it as being um, like a scale that the two sides, here the little trays on the sides, that they're balanced. And so if you add something to one side, you have to add it to the other side for it to remain balanced. Or if you take away something from one side, you have to take away from both sides. So those are our two properties. The addition property is that you can add the same number to both sides of an equation. We do add it to the sides. And the subtraction property is that we can subtract the same number from both sides of an equation. And in both cases, we will keep our true statement as that those two sides are equal. The equivalent equation is two equations with the same solution. And so when you do one of these properties, add or subtract, you end up with an equivalent equation. So x plus 2 equals 3 and x equals 1, they are equivalent equations. Okay, and so how I got from one to the other is I actually subtracted 2 from both sides and that left me with x equals 1. So that told me this equation is equivalent to that equation. So as long as you're following one of your properties, you're producing an equivalent equation. To solve an equation means you're trying to get the variable by itself on one side, and it does need to be a positive 1 of that variable. You don't want to end with, a, with um, you know, negative y equals 6, you're not done yet. 2y equals 3, you're not done yet. When y equals you are done, okay, or x equals whatever your variable is. All right, so we're going to solve some equations. We're also going to check our solutions. I'll show you what I want. Uh, so first of all, h minus 12 equals negative 27, and our goal is to get h by itself. So I need to get rid of a minus 12, and how you get rid of a minus 12? We're going to add 12 to both sides, and this goes back to our properties. If I add the opposite, that's additive inverses, and they're going to cancel, so negative 12 plus 12 makes 0, which cancels. h equals negative 15, so there's my answer. And if your directions say check, I expect to see a check. And so your check is you plug in what the variable equals. We get negative 15 minus 12 equals negative 27. I have not done any math yet. All I did was replace h with negative 15. Then you're going to work this straight down and see do the two sides equal each other. So working just on the left-hand side here, I get negative 27 equals negative 27. Yes, that works, so it checks. In a check, you don't move anything to the other side, you just work straight down. So let's look at k plus 63 equals 92. So to get rid of a positive 63, I'm going to subtract 63, right? As long as I do the same thing to both sides, it will stay equal. So again, additive inverses, that cancels. k equals... 29, and so that is your answer. Remember, you're done when you get the variable by itself. And then you're going to show your checks. So I'm going to put in 29 for k. I'm not doing any math. I'm just rewriting it. And now I'm going to work straight down, which means on the left-hand side, I'm going to combine those. And uh, 29 plus 63 happens to be 92, which equals 92, so it checks. Okay, let's look at two more. So the first one is I want to get r by itself. So it's r minus 8, and how do you get rid of a minus 8? I'm going to add 8 to both sides, and you get 40 equals r, because those 8s cancel. If you like to, and the, I do, switch it and put the r on the left, remember that's your symmetric property that says you can switch it around. For your check, Okay, I'm going to do 32 equals 40 minus 8. I just substitute in that value, work straight down, so that side's 32. 40 minus 8 is also 32. There we go. All right, last one here we're going to do in this section. Uh, 7 equals 42 minus t. I'm going to subtract 42 from both sides, because that's how you get rid of that 42 to get t by itself. 
7 minus 42 is going to be a negative 35. So that's my solution. My check, I want to see 7 equals 42 plus a negative 35, or you could say minus 35. 7 equals 42 minus 35 is 7. There we go. Okay. If your directions say check, I do expect to see a check. Okay, the last one we're going to do is we're going to need to start out by writing our equation and then we're going to solve it. So if we just read this, it says 14 more than a number. Okay, more than we really should put at the end, more than and less than. So a number, let's use x. 14 more than x, x plus 14, is, that's equals, well, is equal to is also equals, but is is equal. 27. All right, so that would be one point there, and then it says to find the number, it says to solve. So if I subtract 14 from both sides, x equals 13. Now the great thing about checks is you can check any equation. So you could go ahead and check this equation. I will not require you to check equations that do not say check your equation. So if it says check, you must check. If it doesn't, you don't have to, but you can always check. All right, that's what I have for you for 2-2. Let me know if you have any questions, and have a great day.